Welcome to One on One with Ayan De Philip. Today I'm thrilled to have on board one of my colleagues in training and coaching, Shirley Han, all the way from Singapore. Shirley is going to enlighten us about a breakthrough therapy called EMDR. Welcome, Shirley. Good morning, Ayansi, and good morning to all our viewers out there. Shirley has been coaching for 10 years, and it really is in the past four years that she has found many meaningful breakthroughs using the technique of EMDR, eye movement desensitization reprocessing. So EMDR helps people let go of deeply buried trauma or uneasy emotions and transform their lives. It's so successful that it's recommended by the US Department of Defense and the World Health Organization. And it's being used by psychotherapists all over the world. The therapy hasn't gained much popularity in Asia, it seems. So surely I understand EMDR is a breakthrough therapy. Do tell us why you find it so fascinating. I find it hugely fascinating for three main reasons. The first is how EMDR liberates the creative healing power of our own mind. And it's all natural. No drugs, no homework required, no intrusive interventions are required. All natural. The second is, depending on what you need to resolve, a transformation can happen within as short as two to three sessions. And that's two to three hours. Remarkable, isn't it? Third is how EMDR works on the whole body, not just our thoughts. You see, it has to do with the fact that trauma, big or small, is stored in the body very much. And they can take a heavy toll on us for years and years, holding us back in life. So when EMDR heals us from these memories, we no longer have those self-defeating inner voices like, I am never good enough, I'm not smart enough, lovable enough, I'm such a disappointment, I, I don't belong here, I cannot trust people, or I should have known better. When these inner voices are processed, imagine how much lighter we become. So these are the top three reasons why I find EMDR so fascinating. Sure. So what does EMDR do to release trauma and uneasy emotions? Apparently, our brain digests memories naturally when we are sleeping via rapid eye movement or REM. But when the experience is too overwhelming, the digestion gets stuck. So it's a little bit like having a constipation. Okay. And hence the nightmares where we cannot process the imageries, the, the, the painful incidences. Night after night, the same monster appears in our dreams. Yeah, and it's chasing us down that endless tunnel. Mm -hmm. Anyway, the bottom line is trauma is a physical problem. And we feel the sadness, the fear, we feel our heartbeat going sky high. We get sweaty palms over and over. Those are signs of trauma. And no amount of talking about it will get it to shift. We just can't ask ourselves to snap out of it. Yeah. Have someone tried to ask you to do that? Because for me, I know it doesn't work. Right. You just can't snap out of it like that. Yeah. So in an EMDR session, the therapist would first prepare the client and ensure that he or she feels safe and supported. And then the therapist would pull all these mental and physical elements together and allow the memory to push past the stuck zone in order to complete the digestion, so to say. After EMDR, many people ask me, can I still remember what happened? Yes, that's the remarkable thing. The memories are still sharp, but they don't have this emotional grip on us because the body knows it's in the past and we no longer feel helpless or incapable. 
And with that, we even feel liberated and empowered. So EMDR takes out the emotion and the memory sticks, but the emotion goes away. Yeah, so the it, emotions that don't say, serve us yeah. goes away. Fantastic. So please do tell us what techniques are used. Oh, and Ayanthi, this part is the game changer. The techniques revolve around bilateral stimulation. Okay, so three main ways we go about it. The first way is where we would get the client to focus on the therapist's fingers as they move back and forth across the field of vision, like that. Okay? It's so gentle, right? It's just moving your eyes, but yeah. it makes a whole world of difference. The second stimulation is auditory. So we can do this way, or we may get the client to listen to the earphone mm -hmm. where uh, we create the left and right uh, sounds in the ears. The th third way is tactile. And that's where we use a lot of tapping motions. Okay. And apparently this left and right brain integration allows the deeply submerged memories to open up to be digested and when that happens you will find that negative beliefs are naturally let go of and healthier positive beliefs are adopted instead and all these take place organically in the mind the therapist does not inject anything wow Yes, wow is the word. So I understand EMDR needs to be guided by an expert, but could you please recommend some adapted EMDR techniques that we could use every day? I am certainly happy to do that. You see, during this period when many of us have to work from home, uh, I need to coach online. And I've been using this self-care technique by Dr. Gary Queen. And so many people have enjoyed the benefits from this self-care procedure. Let me just share my screen. Adapting to ongoing uncertainties. And I believe that describes the state we're in right now. Uh, this is developed by Dr. Gary Queen from Israel. And it's so simple, but you'll be amazed with what it can do. Okay. This is what it takes. First, I'd like to invite our viewers to partake in this exercise with us as well. Okay. So first thing you do is to identify a concern that matches yours. Some of the concerns are, I'm afraid my family and I may get the virus. I may lose my job. I will have no money. This is my fault and I, because I did not do what I should do. I'm alone and isolated. I'm helpless. Yeah. So when you are able to identify one such concern, and I believe that um, it's not too difficult because just about all of us have something here or other. Uh, what you then do is to drop into your body and have a sense of what's going on in there. For example, you may feel your throat getting constricted, or you may feel your chest tightening, or a heaviness around the head or shoulders. Heart palpitations is a common one. Okay? Then having identified that, let's measure the level of disturbance. So we have here 0 to 10, where 0 is no disturbance, and 10 is where we are at the highest, the peak of the disturbance. So let's say you feel 7 out of 10. Okay, Let's take note of that. What we do next is for the mind to adapt to more constructive beliefs. In a short moment, you'll be seeing many sentences which I'll be reading out loud. And as I read out loud, um, I'll need you to 
hug yourself yep with your palms touching your biceps like that and as we read we'll be doing this tapping motion left right left right remember the tapping is a game changer okay and these sentences which you are about to see may sound so simple but let me tell you that it is so carefully crafted by dr gary queen in fact it took him a good 150 revisions before he released these so they may be simple but they are very potent so let's get started we'll read it out loud while we tap on our biceps i can be in reasonable control of what i can be in control of i can learn to deal with this I can learn to have options within my circumstances. Whatever happened, happened. And I can deal with this from this moment onward. So keep doing that for about two to three minutes. And we have the next three lines to read out loud. The alternating tapping will help reduce my anxieties. When I am calm as I am now, it strengthens my immune system to help me heal and deal. This pandemic is temporary and will end. So we repeat these for about five minutes, after which we take a deep breath and drop into our body again. And one more time, let's have a sense of what's going on in there. Remember, trauma is in the body as well. How is your chest feeling? Is it less constricted around your throat? Is there less heaviness around your head and shoulders? Okay. Note all these and calibrate in order of the disturbance level. Zero to ten. Once again, what is the number? So earlier, if you are a seven, now you may be a five or even lower. So many people ask me, what if I want to, go, to make it even lower? Yes, all the more so. Just repeat all these sentences again while you continue with the tapping. And many a time with my clients, in the process of this, the mind will get insights into how they should be feeling and what thoughts would be more empowering so when that happens with you just write them down and read these beliefs while you do the left and right tapping so this is a very short and effective self-care procedure which is created by dr queen using emdr technique and i hope that it can help you as well Thanks, Shirley. I just felt that I was in therapy myself. So, very valuable, and thank you for generously offering this uh, therapy. You're so, welcome. For more questions, please do contact Shirley Khan on Shirley at yellowbrickroadcoaching.com. And you know what? For those seeking EMDR in Sri Lanka, there is actually a center in Borella which started in. 2004 after the tsunami and there is information um, it's called emdrsrilanka.org so there is a center uh, for emdr in Sri Lanka, which is great great news so thank you so much shirley i really yeah. enjoyed that session and uh, it's great to know that there are so many sources of therapy and this seems like breakthrough you know brilliant and yes in fact yes it it, it helps people break through because it can address our inner voices. And that is done only when we are able to address the whole body. Let the digestion happen uh, so the natural constructive self-beliefs can surface. It, we've now learned a uh, easy to use self-care procedure. And with that, I'd like to thank all our listeners too for being here with me. And I wish you well.